G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What I'm going to be having a look at in this video is I'm going to be looking at how to work out the area or the surface area of half cylinders. Okay, this is a special video. My nephew has asked for a bit of help with this for his homework, so I'm sending this out to uh, to, to you. So um, anyway, the type of question I, I think you're asking me to answer is this type of one, where what we have is we would have a cylinder here, which I've got here, and we're looking at working out this surface area of a half a cylinder okay so I'm going to draw this in as best as I can sort of 3D -ish, okay so we're going to end up with something that looks a bit like this a half circle up here and this is going to go down to here this is going to go down to here I'm going to end up with a line here and I'm also going to end up with this type of thing where I'm going to end up with this cylinder part so we're sort of going to see we've got a couple of different parts here We've got these two half circles on the top and the bottom. We've got this rectangular part here. I don't know whether you want this included or not. And we have this half um, cylinder part on the other side. Okay, so let's work out the different parts of these. So first off, I'll give a, a bit of an arbitrary sort of uh, height and radius with these, because that's the two measurements we're gonna need. We're gonna need a radius. So I'm gonna give one, say, as two, and a height as, say, let's call it five. Well, these can be in centimeters, meters, whatever. Okay, so first off, um, what about we, we basically, we number our sides here. Okay, we're going to have this side here, this one, we're going to have this side here, which is two, this this rectangular side, we're going to have this as three, this bottom one, which is going to be the identical to number one here, and four, okay, which is going to be our semicircular part, uh, our semi-cylinder part. Okay, so first off, let's work out the surface area of number one part here. Okay, number one is a half circle okay so number one the way we're going to work out the area of a circle is as follows we use this formula as you probably well know which is pi r squared okay so this is equal to pi times r times r all right i'll write that down so this is equal to pi times r times r and this will be as follows okay um actually i'll get a calculator up and we'll, we'll use this so here's my calculator um and you're going to see that we have uh, pi, which is going to be pi. Um, I'll hit that up in a second. And the radius, which is 2 by 2. Okay. And then you know what we're going to do. We're going to halve it. Okay. So so I, I do remember this. Okay. So we're going to go uh, for this, we'll go pi, which is down here. Pi times 2 times 2. And this is equal to 12.56 we actually want half a circle okay but actually I'll, I'll tell you what well this is um you're going to probably realize that number three down here is also going to be that same size so rather than halving it i'm just going to keep a whole circle here okay do you, do you get what i've just done there rather than halving this answer right now this this number one part up here i'm actually going to not halve it but i'm going to include it as number three here okay so what i'm going to do with this answer this 12.56 i'll just Put it in the memory here memory plus okay so let's clear now and that was 12.56 okay and that was in units squared okay something uh you probably remember so this is not only one but this is also three here we've just worked out we also got this part two here okay part two here which is equal to as you see here it's a um, I'll just get rid of that for a sec. We're going to have this distance all the way across here. Now this is not only two, this is the total diameter here. It's the entire diameter. So this is going to be, our area is going to be equal to uh, 2R, which is the diameter, okay, twice the radius. And this is going to be times the height here. Okay, so these are all our area formulas here. So this is going to be equal to 2R, which is... 2 times 2 which is 4 times the height here which we're, we're given as 5 okay so this is going to be equal to 20 okay a nice easy one 20 units squared so I'll um what about I I write 20 and I'll hit memory plus so so far we should have 32 with these uh, added together 32.56 okay I'll get rid of that okay so the next one we're going to do is part 4 here and that's this entire semicircular part this semi-cylinder part now first off we've got the height okay if we were to 
unravel this. If you were to go get a toilet cylinder right now and cut it open, cut it in half, and then and then you could flatten it out, and you could actually see that we would end up with a rectangle, okay? We're going to end up with a rectangle that is the same as the height here, but also the same as half the distance around the circle, or half the circumference of the circle. So we're going to have to work out the circumference of the circle, this distance from here to here. We're going to have to work that out right now, okay? And I'm going to do this just over here, okay? Because this is going to be equal to, our area here is going to be equal to the height times half of the circumference. Do you get that? Okay, so let's work out the circumference over here separately. So what is half the circumference? Well, circumference, geez, there's so many formulas to remember here, equals 2 pi r. Okay, so this is equal to 2 times pi times the radius which we've given us 2. Alright, so it's going to be the same as 4 pi. Okay, <laughs> you're going to realise over here is 12.56. 12.56, okay, because this is actually that same sort of calculation we did over here. This is uh, work out the area, this is the work out the circumference, just happens to fall that same sort of thing, okay, the same answer value in this. If we halve this here, we're going to end up with our circumference being uh, approximately 6.28. Okay, now, let's just get a calculator and work that out. So, the circumference, I'm going to clear that up. Our circumference is, again, we, we saw that it was it's 2 times pi times the radius, which is 2. Okay, which is 12.56. I'm going to divide that by 2. Because we're after half the circumference here. Okay. And I'm going to times that by the height. Okay, this part here. So times the height, which is 5. Okay, we get 31.4159. I'm going to also put that in the memory. Okay, so this is equal to uh, 6.28, remember, times uh, the height, which was 5, and this is equal to around about 31.4. And so, if we total all these together, our 12.56 and our 20, and our 31.4, and I've been putting these in the memory as we go along, so I've been hitting memory plus, memory plus, memory plus. Now if I hit memory read, it adds all those values up for me. So this is the same as 12.56 plus 20, which is around about 32.56 plus 31.4. So we should get the answer of 63.98. So this is our total equals 63.98. You good with that? Okay, hopefully that was of some help. Okay, um, it was a bit of a video on the fly. I didn't uh, really think too much about it. I typically don't think too much about them when I just put them together. So but anyway, hopefully that was of some help if you have to work these types of things out. Again, omit certain things if you don't need to. If you don't need this particular uh, rectangle part here, don't put it in. If they're not asking for that or if they're, if they're making it an open cylinder, maybe you don't have to put you know this particular parts in here. So you, get, you sort of got these three components, four components. You've got this circle part, which is a half circle. So it's going to end up adding as a circle. You've got this part here which is just going to be twice the, um, I'll get rid of this. So we've got this circle part here, which is just going to be this, um, you know, this circle part and this circle part, and it's going to add up to a full circle. We've got this rectangular part here, which cuts through the middle. This is going to be equal to twice the um, radius, or the diameter times the height. And we also have this entire cylinder part, okay? And this is going to be equal to the half the circumference of this circle, half of it, times the height here. Okay, and that was how we worked this out over here. Okay, hopefully that was of some help, mate. Um, we'll catch you later. Okay, see ya. Bye.